Question 33. The graph of f of x equals x squared was transformed to create the graph of g of x equals f of x minus 9. Which statement about the graphs is true? Okay, so I have a parent function. So this is the original function. Parent function is uh, el function original. So it's f of x and that's x squared. And I changed it. Y cambio, lo cambio. So my new equation is g of x. Mi nueva ecuación es g of x. And what's the difference here? ¿Cuál es la diferencia from f of x? What's the difference from f of x? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de f de x? Well, I have a minus 9. Tengo un menos 9. Okay, so that's what's new. Okay, the minus 9. Let me go ahead and underline that. Okay, and then we need to, knew, to know which statement about the graph is true. ¿Cuál es verdad? Okay, I need to see what is true. ¿Cuál es cierto? Okay, so I have f of x minus 9. Let me go ahead and write that down on my paper right over here. Okay, so I have my new one is f of x minus 9. And I need to see what does this minus 9 mean? do. ¿Qué hace este menos nueve? Well, I made a little notes sheet for you. Tengo un, una hoja de notas aquí. So, I'm going to tell you from now this is a translation. Voy a decir de ahora que este es una translation. Uh, how do I know? Because it's, it's a number. I put a number. ¿Cómo sé? Porque tengo un número. Okay, so I have a new number. So I know it's going to be a translation. What is a translation? A translation moves the graph vertically up, down, or horizontally left, right. So, entonces, un translation mueve la gráfica uh, a vertical, arriba, abajo, o horizontal, izquierda, derecha. Okay, so this is the parent function, f of x, and then I put a number. Let's see how this can change. So it can be vertical up, down, arriba, abajo, or it can be horizontal, left, right, horizontal, izquierda, derecha. So let's take a look. So my number is nine, mi número es nueve. Let's see how things move. Vamos a ver cómo mueve, okay? So to move up, para mover arriba, I need to put plus a number, okay? And it's outside the parenthesis. Para mover arriba, necesito poner un más número, pero afuera de los parentesis. So how will this look? ¿Cómo va parece? It's going to be F of X. Close the parentesis. Cierra los parentesis. You're going to put plus. And our number, nuestro número, is going to be 9. We're going to use 9. So D is a number. D es un número. Whatever number, lo que sea. But in our case, it will be 9. Pero en nuestro caso es 9. So I'll put 9. Now, to move down, para mover abajo, I'm going to do f of x, close the parentheses, cierra los parentheses, put a minus, and put your number, y pone tu número, 9, 9, okay? Now, to move left, para mover izquierda, my number is going to be inside of the parentheses. Mi número está adentro de los parentheses. So, I'm going to put f of x plus the number, el número, 9, and close. Okay, so it's a little different. It's still a plus, but the difference is the parenthesis location. La diferencia es, uh, son los parentheses. And then for right, para la, de la derecha, I do f of x, put your minus, and the number, el número 9, and close. So there's two differences you need to look for, the signs and the parenthesis location. Hay dos diferencias, uh, los, las señales y el lugar de los uh, paréntesis. So, which one looks like my original? ¿Cuál se mira como mi original? Well, let's see. Let's take a look here. So, this is my original, right? F of X minus 9. Okay. This is minus, menos, and it's outside the parenthesis, afuera de los parenthesis. So which one does it look like? It looks like this one. Se mira como esta. Do you see that? Okay. This is different because the parenthesis is different, right? 
okay? And this one is different because it has plus. It's diferente porque tiene más. Okay, so I need something exactly the same. So how did it move? ¿Cómo se mueve? Well, it moved down. Se mueve abajo. Down. Okay, so this is going to be a down. Abajo. Okay, so it actually moved down. How many spaces? ¿Cuántos espacios? Nine. Nueve. Okay, so I moved down nine. Let's go ahead and read the options and pick something with down nine spaces. Vamos a leer las opciones y uh, escoge la respuesta que tiene abajo nueve espacios. So, 33, question 33. Let's go back. So, remember, recuerda, I want, quiero down. Let me go ahead and write this down. Voy a escribir down. How many? ¿Cuántos? Nine spaces, espacios. Okay, so this one says the graph of G is a reflection of the graph of F across the x-axis. Esta es un, una reflexión. That is not true. No es cierto. This is just a movement. Solamente es un movimiento. Okay, so that's not it. The vertex of the graph of G is nine units to the right of the vertex of the graph of F. So this is to the right, para la derecha, to the right. This is not true, no es cierto. This is not to the right, it's down. No es para la derecha, es para abajo. Okay, so it's not B. The graph of G is a reflection of the graph of F across the y-axis. So here they're saying it's a reflection, es una reflexión. That is not true, no es cierto. This is a moving down, it's not a reflection. No es una reflexión, es un movimiento para abajo. The y-intercept of the graph of G is nine units below the y-intercept of the graph of F. Okay, what is below? ¿Qué significa below? Below means down, baja, bajo. Okay, below, so baja nueve unidades. So this is my answer, esta es mi respuesta, because I want something down. So make sure that you translate if you need, um, because they do like to use different words. So, so for down, sometimes they will have below, right? And then for up, maybe arriba, they might have above. So you will need to be careful and remember these words, okay? Let me make sure I put that there. So down could be below, up could be above, okay? And yes, let me say, you do need to memorize, necesitan recordar, you do need to memorize these, okay? So you do need to memorize that up is plus outside the parenthesis, down is minus outside the parenthesis, left is plus inside the parenthesis, and right is minus inside the parenthesis.